welcome to the channel. Today's video is a short clip taken from a trip back in September of 2023. We were traveling from Fullerton Airport just outside of LA to Henderson Executive Airport just south of Las Vegas. Our route took us out of some very busy airspace around LA and then across the desert um, with some pretty spectacular scenery. We did have a fair bit of weather, but we managed to delay our departure and most of it had moved out and, and it was actually a very nice flight heading across there. Temperatures were high, at least high for what I'm used to, probably not that high for people who live in Las Vegas, but uh, we were about uh, 88, 89 Fahrenheit, so around 31, 32 Celsius when we arrived there. The airport itself is at uh, 2,491 feet, so with the temperature we had and the barometric pressure, uh, that gave us a density altitude of uh, 7,208 feet, um, which really bumps your true airspeed up, increases your landing distance, and then for the following day when we departed, really makes the departure length uh, a lot bigger. So really want to be careful uh, if you're new to those sort of uh, elevations and temperatures that uh, you're really carefully checking the performance charts on the airplane. Henderson Executive Airport was very friendly and the uh, staff at the FBO were really helpful and we got just what I would describe as top quality service there. Uh, I was even able to uh, give the aircraft a quick uh, pressure wash as we'd been doing a fair bit of traveling at this time and we had got really covered in dust and grit and grime and just lots of dead bugs and, and everything. So that was really brilliant service. So definitely recommended place to go uh, if uh, you're wanting to visit the area. Leaving Henderson Airfield, again required some pretty careful checking of the performance charts to determine the amount of runway that we were going to need and also to see what our single engine performance was going to be like which was going to be very poor indeed but uh, we departed there and headed across to the hoover dam and then out into the grand canyon uh, national park um, that needs quite a bit of pre-planning and looking at the appropriate charts. Uh, there's a number of good videos people have done on flying through there, but it's well worth the effort and the scenery was, again, absolutely stunning. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I would uh, ask you please do so and hit the subscribe button and the like button and uh, I'll leave you with the rest of the landing. Get out there and get lots of flying done, everyone. Stay safe and happy tailwinds.